Well, this Labor Day weekend, the Skipjacks will race for the 61st time. And joining me now is Carrie Samus. She is a Chesapeake Bay storyteller with the Skipjack Heritage Incorporation. Hey, and it looks like you are right in front of a, a Skipjack there this afternoon. I am, definitely. So I am at Scott's Cove Marina in um, on Deal Island, well, right off of Deal Island Road. Um, so we are in the Chance Deal Island area, and this is a working marina. So there are a lot of uh, boat captains that are coming in and out of here all day long, uh, crabbing, and a lot of folks getting their skipjacks ready for the big race on Monday. Yeah, so it's happening. This is the 61st day, or 61st year for the Skipjack Fest, or for the race. There's not going to be a festival this year, right? Correct. So this year, unfortunately, because of COVID and all of the challenges that that presents, uh, the community decided not to host the festival as, as they have in the past. However, um, in keeping with tradition, again, you mentioned the 61st year of the Skipjack race, uh, the Skipjack captains got together and decided that, yes, in fact, they were still going to race this year. So there are about 12 boats that will be here from Tillman and Deal Island, Winona, and most of them are working skipjacks that are harvesting oysters during the winter. And they race kind of as a kickoff for the season um, on Labor Day each year. So it's pretty exciting. Yeah, and you're very familiar with the skipjack. Uh, uh, you were actually crew with the, on the Catherine? I do. Um, my daughter and I crew on the Catherine, which was built in 1901. It's a boat that was restored by Captain Stoney Whitelock and is now captained by his son, David Whitelock, and his family. And um, we are going to be on the on that boat during the race this year. I think this is the fourth, fourth or fifth year that, um, that I've been on the boat during the race, which is super exciting. And behind me, we have the Ida May, which has been the winner for the last several years. So uh, that captain, Sean Ridgely, is on board right now, testing things out and get things ready for the race. Now, you said it's exciting to be on board, but it's also exciting to watch these races, isn't it? It is. It definitely is. So, um, you know, the, these uh, boats are just so impressive. They're gi ginormous sailboats, right? And um, they're absolutely gorgeous when they're out on the Chesapeake. And when you get to see a congregation of them, it's pretty impressive. So they will be doing the, the blessing of the fleet. Um, in the morning at 8 a.m. at the Deal Island Harbor. And then um, the boats will leave the harbor and line up. And then Captain Whitelock will officially begin the race. And um, from several different points along Deal Island, you can see the boats just offshore in the Tangier Sound. And they are stunning when they're out there racing for sure. And that's happening, of course, on Labor Day. And there are going to be some soft shell crab sandwiches available, I understand. There will be. So as is tradition, um, the, the community really from Princess Anne all the way down to the very tip of Deal Island, Winona, um, a lot of community members have yard sales that day. A lot of churches have yard sales and bake sales and food available and that sort of thing. So those things are still happening. And at the at the Deal Island Harbor, you'll still be able to get a delicious soft crab sandwich for sure. All right. Carrie Sam is with the Skipjack Heritage Inc. Thank you so much. A beautiful day to be outside. And it's hopefully going to be beautiful on Monday. It looks like great weather. We're excited.